championships are scheduled for Gothenburg, Sweden in August, or Göteborg if you have Scandinavian background. And the lane assignments for the men's 200 meter. In lane one, Brian Lewis, Marcel Carter in lane two. John Drummond is doubling in this event, or rather in this uh, track meet. Ran in the 100. Kevin Little in lane four. Johnson in five. Lewis in six. Brian Bridgewater in lane seven. And Dino Napier runs in lane eight. Michael Johnson likes to run a little bit more in the inside in the 200 meters. He doesn't mind running in three, four, or five. He likes to look up ahead at someone. Lewis, who has the longer stride, likes to be towards the outside, six or seven. Feels he could run his own race out there. Michael Johnson says he's won two of three races over Carl Lewis. The one in dispute was a prelim. Track world doesn't usually count the prelim, so they're really one in one lifetime. Michael Johnson feels he wants to get out quickly around this turn and move up alongside of Carl Lewis, and he's doing it right now. Strong run on the curve. Here's Johnson off the break. He's got a lead of a yard. Lewis moving up on the outside. It's Michael Johnson holding off Carl Lewis and winning with relative ease. 20.15 unofficially, a race reminiscent of his world championship victory in 1991 when he also ran against a strong win and recorded a time right around 20 seconds. I think with a tailing win, that would have been down towards the world record. That was not just another race for Michael Johnson. He says when he's in top form as he is in now, there are no zones for this 200 meters. It's all out, all the way, and he uses his 400 meter speed to carry him to the finish. Lewis is the fastest 100 meter runner. You would think he could get out quickly, hold off Michael Johnson around the first turn, but what an amazing curve Michael Johnson ran. He had the lead well before they came to the straightaway, and it really was game over at that point. Lewis finishes well in every race he runs, especially the 200 meters, but you can't give up so much to Michael Johnson, the man who right now is the dominant 400 meter in runner in the world. You know he's not gonna crumble, he's not gonna get tired. Lewis starts to come on him a little bit towards the end, but Johnson responds well all the way to the finish line. Well, now it's officially two to one. Michael Johnson is the victor in a time of 20.15. Carl Lewis finished second at 20.47, and Kevin Little winds up in third. Right now, let's go to Mike Powell. Michael Johnson, 20.15. I know your standards are high. What do you think about your race today? Oh, I felt good. I just wanted to work on some things. I'm happy with the time. I think we were running against a little win, so I'm extremely pleased with it. But you know, there's a lot of pre-race hype with the matchup between you and Carl. Do you think it was a distraction or did it allow you to focus in? I don't think it was either one. I just go in the race. The other seven people in the race are just people that are trying to prevent me from getting what I want. So I don't see any faces or names when I get in there. Uh, thanks a lot. Michelle? All right, thanks. Standing by with Carl Lewis. You really thought you could win this race today, but you had an excellent field of competition. Well, yeah, he did. He did. I, I did feel I could win. And I still feel good about my race. Um, I still, I'm still not running the top of the first 100 meters. I need to. But as you can see, I can still match anybody on the home stretch. Michael's a great sprinter. He ran a great race today. But uh, this isn't the last one. Yeah, and you're preparing for, for nationals and worlds coming up this summer. How does this help that? It helps quite a bit. I mean, I started training the end of January when a lot of these guys are already running meets. So I'm coming around slower than them, but I feel that I'll be ready a couple of weeks and then I need to be in August. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, sir. You will see me. <laughs> Vern? All right, Michelle, let's go back. Craig Mass back and take a look at the race. You see Lewis, third from the left of the screen. Johnson, fourth from the left of the screen. This was the difference, the first 100 meters. Carl analyzed it himself. He's not getting out quickly enough. Johnson ran with a vengeance around the turn, and when it came to the straightaway, Carl closed with his characteristic finish. But Michael Johnson, the style that looks a little funny, but scientists have proven is the best in the world, proves he is the best in the world at the 200 meters right now. Craig, we talked uh, with Mike Powell about his assessment of Michael Johnson's chances of winning both the two and the four. What do you think? I think he has an excellent chance to do it. He feels he can dominate the world at 400 meters. That race he'll be able to take a little bit easily. I think he's a little bit more vulnerable in the 200. 
if he can win the 400, the 200 can come his way. I hope Olympic authorities will change that schedule so that he'll be able to do the 400-200 double in Atlanta as well. Lingering memory of today? I think the spirit of Prefontaine lived so well, especially in the young American runners, Todd Williams, Bob Kennedy, and Steve Holman. They rose to the occasion. Outstanding mile time, great two-mile time. Michael Johnson wins the 200 meter over Carl Lewis. It's been quite a day before a crowd of 13,700. For Michelle Tavoya, Mike Powell, and Craig Masback, I'm Vern Lundquist saying goodbye from Hayward Field on the campus of the University of Oregon.